Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus, and our mission is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ by the love of His people and the power of His truth. That is the mission, to lead others to Jesus. So how do we stay on mission when life gets hard and we get overwhelmed or when we feel like we're running out of strength? Well, there are many things that I love about Paul the Apostle, and one of them is how he stayed and remained so effective in ministering the gospel of Jesus to everyone around him in times of hardships, in times of exhaustion, and in times of persecution. So what made Paul so effective and stay effective for the gospel even through the toughest times of his life? Well, he tells us in Colossians uh, chapter 1, starting at verse 28 and 29, he says this, Him we proclaim, that is Jesus we proclaim, warning everyone, teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone mature in Christ. Verse 29, for this I toil, struggling with all his energy that he powerfully works within me. You see, Paul knew that the mission wasn't going to be easy, but he relied not on himself or his own strength, but on the mighty power of Jesus working in him to get the mission done to win as many souls for Christ by proclaiming Jesus to everyone, warning them and teaching them to grow in their faith in Christ and Christ alone. Even as he penned, penned this letter to the Colossians, he's sitting in a prison cell, still proclaiming, still warning, and still teaching to present everyone mature in Christ. Now, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, that means you have put your faith and trust in Jesus, then you too, my friend, are on mission. And we are called, that's right, you and I, we are called to lead others to Jesus and not only lead them, but to help them grow in their faith. It's actually a commandment. And you might be thinking, well, I'm not Paul the apostle and I'm not a pastor, so uh, what do I do? Well, here's the good news. The gospel never changes. The mission to lead others to Jesus and help them grow in their faith never changes. But our method does. In other words, how we reach and lead them is gonna look different. For pastors, it's behind the pulpit or maybe even doing a video. Now, it could be, for you, it could be one-on-one -on -one discipleship with a friend or coworker. Maybe inviting a friend to a life group where both of you are growing together. Or maybe it's over coffee and going through one of the books in the Bible with a new believer in Christ. Now, we are to pour into others and watch them grow in their faith, which is actually called discipleship, by the way. And we do this again and again for another brother or sister in Christ. And we continue to do this until we are home with our Lord and Savior. Imagine the impact that we can have in our families, at work, in our community. And it starts with you and I today to keep on ministering the gospel to everyone around us and to keep on trusting God every step of the way. And when we get exhausted, we get overwhelmed, and we encounter hardships, hardships because we will because life is hard. We need to remember that it is the mighty power of Jesus that will keep us effective in leading and helping others grow in Christ Jesus. That's how we stay effective on mission. God bless you and have a great day.